Welcome to the Rope Access Channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to pass a small re anchor with your casualty. Let's get into it. So I've performed my rescue, whether it's a ascending or a descending rescue, it doesn't really matter. Point is, I'm on two ropes and I need to pass this re anchor. I have a small loop right here and I do not want to end in the bottom of it. So how do I do it? It's fairly easy. We're gonna treat this as a small rope to rope transfer. First things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prepare. That means I'm stealing some of my Ruth Lee's gear. First I'm gonna get this descender. Attach it to my harness and I'm gonna go exactly the same as the carabiner that I'm already hanging in. Okay, so with the new descender I go th both through the short connection and my own D-ring. That means if I will get out of this into the new one that the casualty is still connected in the same way. That's one. And point number two, of course, I steal the backup device or borrow. I will give it back when we hit the ground. So I descend until I'm at the anchor points. I pull myself towards the anchor points and I will get those two ropes going down to the ground. And it's a small re-anchor, so this should all be possible. If it's not possible, then something's off with the rigging and we need to do different steps. So in this case, I will first put on my second backup device. And I will thread the other rope into the second descender. And pull out a little bit of slack. And if I, if I do this now, I'm still at the same level. So this is fairly easy to make those first pulls. It's very important to stay as high as possible. If you end up too low, you might have to ascend back up with a casualty, which is all possible and I will show you in a future video, but it's a lot more work. So try to prevent those circumstances from happening. Right, so I pull myself a little bit closer. One more, one more go. That's it. Lock off the descender. I have my ASAP up high. And now I continue the descent. From the rope I'm coming out of and I will end up against the wall. I'm minding the loops so I keep doing my rope management. I do not want to end, have the loops end up underneath my casualty. Make everything nice and neat and controlled. We're not in a rush, it is a rescue. But you know what they say, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. All right, I'm almost there. I'll switch to protecting the casualty with my feet from the structure I'm against, and this will give me some a bit more control. I descend the last little bit. And right now, the slack is coming out of the lines I was coming from. I can take off my backup. Do some rope management again. Keep mining the ropes. Well, keep a good representation of what will happen for the next step. All right, so before I show you how to continue in this rescue, I will tell you about the sponsor of this video. And the sponsor of this video is Industrial Klimme. Industrial Klimme is a training company situated in the Netherlands, right above Amsterdam. They have a beautiful training facility, as you can see, and they provide me with the opportunity to come film here. Right next door, there is a great shop where you can come and try new materials and new climbing gear. And if you're not able to make it in person, then you can always visit the web store. Link will be in the description. All right, let's continue. So for the last bit, I take out the friction carabiner. because there is no more weight in it and I can already set it up in the new spot, in the new ID or descender. I take the rope out of my descender. A 
lock, it, lock the plate back, do some rope management, and I'm safe to go down again. So I do one more check of the system. My backup device is unlocked and rolling down smoothly. I have my friction carabiners and my other carabiners, they're all done up. And in this way, I can continue on down, like so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to stay updated on every new video that we release. And leave a comment if you would like to see a different rescue technique or climbing technique. Ask away and I will try to get on it. I'll see you in the next one. Stay connected.